Hello everyone. Welcome to Cards and Coffee with Sarah Lynn Duque today. Uh, if you're just joining me for the first time, you will find me on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube as Sarah Lynn Stamps. And I come on here every Wednesday at noon, or most Wednesdays at noon, <laughs> unless, you know, the mummy mobile has to drive kids around, um, to share with you a quick and easy card over our lunch break. So these cards are designed to take 15 minutes or less to create. And today I want to give you a little sneak peek of something that's coming up. So you probably see here a brand new stamp set called Delicate Dahlias. Are they Dahlias or Dahlias? I'm not sure. I call them Dahlias. Anyways, Delicate Dahlias. And um, this is an upcoming stamp set that is going to be available as part of a celebration promotion. So this is the first time I'm actually mentioning this. I have recently got some of my supplies and Celebration is coming back. This is the first time ever that Stampin' Up! has done two Celebration promotions in the same year. And so we have another one rolling out August the 3rd through to September the 30th. And so if you are a shopping customer of mine, you would have received this in the mail or you will receive it this week. If you don't receive it prior to the launch date of August 3rd, let me know and I'll send out another one too. As an alternative, you can also find that on my website. Um, SarahLynnStamps.StampinUp.net starting August the 3rd. But how Celebration works is for every $60 that you spend, you get to choose free products. So there are paper products in here and I'm not able to show you the inside of them, but I can show you some of the products that I have received so far. Um, so there's some paper products in here, some of the things that coordinate with the new mini catalog that's coming out, and there's also stamp sets available. So there are some that are available at the $60 price point, so when you spend $60, you can choose them as a free item. If you spend $120, so two $60 increments, there are some special items available to you, and one of them is the Delicate Delia stamp set. And so you'll find that at the $120 price point, what you're gonna get is actual full stamp sets with a number of different images um, or some other specialty products at that price point. But anyways, we're gonna use this one today, and this one is gorgeous. This is a two-step stamp set, which means that it has sort of usually a background stamp and it has an outline stamp. It also has some really nice um, different sentiments on here. Thank you kindly. Oh, so happy for you. You inspire me and sending heartfelt sympathy. So there's stuff on here from a lot of different occasions. Um, and you can get this for free starting on August the 3rd. But today I want to show you a really quick and easy card with maybe a color combination that I don't usually use. And I'm just going to grab something. Um, I forgot I needed my marker. So I got my markers here. We're ready to roll. And but anyways, a color combination that I may not use all of the time. And so we are going to kind of be breaking out of our mold. So what we have today is we have a piece of white cardstock measuring five and a half by eight and a half. And I just need a little piece of scrap paper here for my card making today. Notice the lighting is a lot better. So some of you know I have been sort of reorganizing and redesigning my craft room a little bit just to make it more functional. And one of the things I really wanted to improve was my lighting for my video. So I think that we're having some success here. What do you guys think? I think it looks a little bit, a little brighter, a little bit more light. Yeah, I think it's kind of working out for the good. Anyways, we've got a piece, this is our card base measuring, like I said, eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna go ahead and fold that in half and give it a crease. Now, normally I would use my bone folder here, but I forgot to bring it in my new setup. So next time, I'm just giving it a good press here with my thumbnail to give it a nice crease. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp on this in, like I said, a color that I don't use a lot and I don't know why, but this is Pacific Point. And you can tell I don't use it very often because I still have the old ink pad here. Like this ink pad is at least a dozen years old, if not more. My daughter is now 17 years old and I started stamping when she was a toddler. So that's how old this stamp pad is. And you'll see it still has a lot of juice in it. I don't even think I've ever uh, had to refill it, but that's more of a sign of me not using that color than anything else. Okay, so I have here the outline stamp. I don't know why. You could either start with the outline or the background stamp, whichever way you like to do this. I'm gonna start with the outline stamp and I really, there's really no rhyme or reason as to why. So I'm gonna just stamp that, get some ink on my stamp 
And then I'm going to, the other thing I should use here, if I know where it is, I do, is my foam pad. So these are photopolymer stamps, which means they don't have the cushion underneath of them. And if I want to get a good image, I want to have my pad underneath. So that is just um, the, what is that called? The piercing stamping I don't know. It's a piercing stamping mat. Look it up. It's only, I think, $7 in the annual catalog. So we're just going to put some of these leaves here on the outside of our card. And I'm going to kind of have them all pointing up, um, but just going different directions around the edge of my card. So <clears throat> now you'll notice if you don't use that piercing mat or some type of um, soft sort of cushion underneath that you may not get the image that you're looking for. Um, and so that would be the issue, and that would be probably what you're wanting to fix with your stamping. Also make sure you've got a nice juiced up ink pad, whoopsies, which for me is a shocker, since like I said, mine is so old. Okay, I'm just going to put a little tip of a leaf up there, and down here maybe a little leaf. Alright, so we're pretty much just going to see the edges. So I think we're good. So now we're going to come in. I'm going to get rid of this outline stamp. And I'm going to take the background stamp, put it here on my block, and we are going to actually stamp off now. So what we're going to do, what that means is we're going to have the same color, but we want it to be a little bit lighter. So the way we're going to achieve that is by taking our ink pad. We're going to... Is this all shaky for you, maybe? We're going to ink up our stamp. And then before we stamp our card, we're going to stamp off. And then we're going to go over here and stamp. Now the photopolymer stamps are great because you can see where you're going right through your stamp. So we've got a pretty good set with our outline. But the thing I love about the two-step stamping is it doesn't really matter if it's exact or not. Like, see, that one's a little off. It looks good. Oopsies. Okay. Stamp off. And then we're just going to keep doing this all the way around until we've gotten all of our little spots filled up. So this is a really quick and easy way and really nice if you're not a person who enjoys coloring, this is the two-step stamps really are your best friend because you don't have to color. You just stamp away. You can get things done really quickly. I know not all of you love to color like I do, so these are great alternatives. Stamp off. Uh-oh. Stamp. Stamp off. And last one. Okay, so we've got our Pacific Point leaves. And again, you could do this in a nice green if you wanted to stay true to sort of how leaves and flowers work. But we're going to use some artist... What do you call that? Artist... Uh, I don't know. You know, we're going to use some of our own uh, leeway here to make what we want. Now we're going to... I have this piece of bumblebee and I believe this measures three by four. But let's measure this and see exactly how much this measures. Okay, so it's actually four and a half, let's see, four and a half by two and three quarters. So I completely lied. It's four and a half by two and three quarters is the size of this bumblebee. And I only have the background stamp that we're going to use here, and we're going to stamp in bumblebee ink. And so just press up here at the top, it'll pop, um, pop open your pad and you can flip it over like that. All right, we're going to again, just pat, pat, pat. And I'm gonna stamp one up here and I can see, the other thing I like about photopolymers, you can kind of see if you've missed some of your stamp when you're inking up. With the red rubber, it's a little difficult to see that. So that makes it really nice. And I'm gonna just stamp that on there. And look at the detail on there, like even without the outline, like it has sort of really detailed where it gets dark and light and you can see all of the different, um, the dimension of the flower. Okay, and I love it. Okay, so we're gonna stamp another one over here, just like that. So we've got our two dahlias right like that, and we're not going to stamp with our outline on this one. I love these flowers, they're so beautiful. Okay, so we are going to adhere this on here in just a moment. First of all, we are going to make our sentiment. So I have a scrap of basic white here, and we are going to use our markers on this one here. So the other color that we're going to use, and we're not going to use the ink, is polished pink. I have the marker here, which this is what I mean by kind of a weird color combination. I would have probably not 
thought of this color combination, but this was actually a suggestion by Stampin' Up that I decided to give a try and it turned out really well. So we've got Bumblebee, Polished Pink and Pacific Point. And I'm gonna set my ink pads to the side because it's time to pull out our Stampin' Write markers. So what we're gonna do here is I have the sentiment that says, thank you kindly, I'm trying to get it the right way for you. Thank you kindly out of that set. And we are going to put two colors onto this by using our markers. So I like to use the brush tip and I'm gonna start with the bumblebee. And I'm just going to color the thank you with my brush tip, just like this. And you can use this for anything. If you had a flower stamp where that had leaves and a stem on it and you wanted the leaves and the flower to be different, this is a good way to accomplish that. So we've colored the bumblebee. And now we're going to take the polished pink. This is just a really nice, um, true pink color. One of our new ink colors this year. And we're going to color the kindly part of this. And now, because the water-based ink, this is the same as the classic ink in your ink pads, it kind of dries quickly. We just want to give a little huff on this. So that just literally means like huffing as in breathing on it before we stamp it just to kind of moisten it. So give me one second to huff. And we are going to stamp this. And it really doesn't matter exactly which way we stamp it because we're going to punch it out. All right, so there we go. We've got our bumblebee and our polished pink all on the same stamp. So that worked out well. The other thing I'm gonna pull out here is my double oval punch and it got glue or something on it. On the back it has a latch here that locks so we're gonna just unlock that by clicking the latch. And then I'm going to slide this in. Actually, I'm gonna slide this into the bottom oval just like that. Okay. So you can center it when you, when you do it from the back, you can kind of see where you're going and center your image in it. So I really like to do that first before anything else. So I'm going to um, also click out just a white one of the oval or of the scallop border. And I want another one of the, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this, of this scrap, but I should have probably brought another one. But I wanted to get another one of these bottom ovals in here. Let me see. Let me see if I have another scrap here handy so that I can layer that up. That scrap turned out to be not big enough. Okay, here I've got actually a piece that I wasn't using. Sorry for all the beeping. I had sent a message to some of my daughter's friends before I came on, because she was looking for someone to play with. And so they're probably all responding to me now and I didn't turn off my volume. So I apologize for all the beeping. All right, so we've got our pieces here. So the reason I've done two of these is because sometimes um, I just want to add another little layer on here without a dimensional. I don't want it kind of popped up that high, but this is going to make this stand out a little bit more on top of this piece because they are the same color. So I'm going to first take my stamp and seal and put these two pieces together. Just like this. I want them to line up as much as possible. And then I'm going to take this without a dimensional because I just, I don't want all of that height or the space between these pieces. I am so sorry. I do not know who's texting me. You know what? It could even be my daughter. She's downstairs and she likes to send me pictures and stuff. So she doesn't know that I came on to do a video. So if you can see that, you see how it just shows sort of a subtle little lift and it almost looks like a button. At least I think it almost looks like a button. And I just kind of like that subtle difference so that we could see the white against the white really nicely. All right, so now we're gonna put our card together. So I am gonna use dimensionals to put this on. I'm gonna turn this over and add some dimensionals on the back here. And you could really dress this up any way that you want to. We're gonna keep it pretty simple today because we are on cards and coffee. And I'm gonna put it just a slightly to the left here so that my borders at the top and the side and the bottom are equal and this one is a little bit bigger. By offsetting it, you just add a little bit of interest to it, especially in a simple card like this. And I am going to add some dimensionals to this one as well. So I wanna just look at this and see where I wanna put my dimensional. So this one is hanging off the edge here. Or do I just wanna put a dimensional on that piece? 
What do you think? Dimensionals on all of it? Yeah, of course, we should put dimensionals on all of it. <laughs> I'm just not going to put it here at the edge where it's hanging over because we would need two dimensionals there. And I don't want to. All right, so we are going to just set this like that with it slightly hanging over the edge. So just watch that when you do that, it's not hanging over the edge of your card or it's not going to fit into your envelope. And just like that, we have our card. Now, I know you're looking at this and going, I would have never thought to combine these colors and neither would have I, but I really love how this turned out. Now, the other thing that you can choose to add if you want to would be some sequins or some gems. I'm going to take some sequins here out of this is the Artistry Bloom set. And so we can either partner kind of with the pink and pull in some of these, or we can keep it subtle and use some of the, the yellow ones. I think I'm going to try some of the pink. So I'm just going to take a few of these and randomly add them here to my card where I think they might look nice. Let's see, let's put one down there. And I don't have any of the little ones left. These ones up here are yellow ones that came off of the other page. But so I'm going to just uh, stick these like so. Where, where should we put this one up here? I really like using my take a pick tool, but for the sequence, it doesn't work out so well. I think I'm just going to stick that up there. Then you can see where it is before you commit and stick it down. So what do you think? Do you like this card? What do you think of the color combo? Do you think this is something that you might give a try? <laughs> Anyways, there is our Wednesday cards and coffee cards and coffee. Yeah, cards and coffee of card that we made today. Um, Remember, Delicate Dahlias is available starting August the 3rd when Celebration rolls out. And a reminder that tomorrow, which I totally forgot about until yesterday, is our Mystery Card Night. So if that's new to you, just go over to my page and scroll down and you'll see that there. Every The last Thursday of every month we have Mystery Card Making and that brings us to tomorrow. And during our Mystery Card Making, I am going to unveil... Um, the products that I received and that I purchased out of the mini catalog. So as a demonstrator, we get a pre-order period. And so I've received some products out of this catalog that I want to share with you tomorrow, as well as a few other items from Celebration. So I hope you'll join me. That's at seven o'clock tomorrow night here on Mystery Stamping. And um, thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'm so pleased that you came and I appreciate each one of you. Have a great day. Bye.